Hi everyone, my name is Ravi Prakash and welcome to the 8th class of permutation, permutations and combinations, right? So we're discussing a series of very good questions here. This question number 19 in this, in this, how many rectangles are there in a 3 cross 5 grid? Okay, how many rectangles are there in a 3 cross 5 grid, right? Now, get the concept, right? If you get the concept, I can solve the toughest of this problem, right? See, 3 cross 5 grid, let me draw it. Should write basically can write 3 cross 5 rectangular grid. It will be given 3 cross 5 rectangular grid. That means suppose there are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There are 5 uh, vertical lines, right? Vertical gaps, and there are 3 here. 1, 2. This is 3 cross 5 grid, right? 3 spaces here 1, 2, and 3, and 5 here 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This is a 3 cross 5 grid having 15. A small rectangles right 15 small rectangles so in this how many rectangles are there now get the concept right what is the concept behind it see if there are three cross five grid how many lines are there vertical lines one two three four five and six there are six vertical lines here how many horizontal lines are here so name it like this is a horizontal line a then this is b this is C, this is D. There are four horizontal lines and there are six vertical lines, right? There are four horizontal lines and there are six vertical lines. So a rectangle, how many rectangles will be formed? A rectangle all rectangle is always formed by selecting any selecting any two parallel lines horizontal and selecting any two parallel lines vertical. Any two parallel lines horizontal, any two parallel lines vertical. This is how a rectangle is formed, right? If there are four horizontal lines, so in how many ways you can select any two lines in four C two in four C two ways, okay. And if, if there are six vertical lines, in how many ways you can select any two vertical lines in six C two ways. And multiplication, right? Because four C two and six C two, both the events are happening one after the other, right? First selecting two horizontal line and selecting two vertical line, okay. So four C two into six C two, right? What is four C two here? So four C two is six. Okay, what is 60 to 15? What is the answer? 90. There are 90 rectangles, right? Obviously, this 90 includes squares, right? It's not like that, that this 90 is only rectangles, right? they're not squares. It's 90 basically includes squares because squares are also formed by same thing, right? Two vertical parallel line and two horizontal parallel line, right? But they have to be equal for a square, right? So obviously, in this case, a square will also be there, but it's okay. Right, so 90 includes a square. So as long as we are not set to remove it, right, we should not remove it. We remove it because a square is a special case of rectangle with L is equal to B. Okay, so we should not remove it, right? So what is the funda behind it? So if there is three cross five grid, so I can draw four horizontal lines. Three means I can draw one more four horizontal line, and five means there are I can draw six vertical lines, right? So one one two, three, four. There are five, four horizontal lines and there are six vertical lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? So four C2 means what? Basically four C2 means selecting all these lines like, okay, A, B, A, C, A, D, selecting groups of two, two. Okay, this is meaning, meaning of four C2. Six C2 means what? Selecting groups of two, two from here. One, two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one, six, like this. I can make so now see here a b when when you combine all these three when you combine all these three right so let's say let's say a b with one two so a b with one two see what is a b with one two so a b with one two will form a rectangle obviously then a b with one three then a b with one three will also form a rectangle right similarly then a d a d with one five okay so a d with one five will also form a rectangle like this, right? Like this, every rectangle is selected in the figure, selected in the figure, right? So this breakup is very important, this breakup. Okay, you get this idea. Don't, don't learn by heart. Create logic. Increase your IQ level. There's a general formula given in every book, right? If there are A, A, A cross B grid, then what is the formula for rectangle? A plus 1C2 into B plus 1C2. How does that come, right? That is very important. This is, this is logic. This is aptitude. Don't be formulatical. 
if you know the logic see if you learn if you learn the formula tell me one thing you learn the formula okay for 3 cross 5 grade is 4 c2 into 6 c2 and you learn the logic now right time will time will be same for both the uh, both the funder but you will be feel will feel more confident because your iq level has increased okay you got one more logic you got a different way of thinking now rather than just learning formula right so you both people learning formula and people with logic create a learning formula right both will solve in same time in same time right but people learning only formula will miss so many things logic the confidence the iq level no simply ratification that won't work right that that won't work in the good exams like cat sat zim gmat right if you learn so many formula if you run 2000 formula let's say in cat you can do two to three questions right but if you solve all those questions by logic you practice by logic right then in cat you can reach 30 plus question nobody i'll tell you see i'll tell you all the possible shortcuts and formulas in required in the uh, cat which are famous uh, famous on internet which are famous any other where some are unknown also right i'll tell you everything but those shortcuts and formula will only increase your score by two to three questions not much than that right and that too people know it many people people with good practice can do it in the same time right so that won't give you so much benefit right this is the way you should study sequentially question right question one to question 19 we have come we're discussing very high quality questions right this kind of questions will create your IQ level for sure. Okay. So how many rectangles you have? 4C2 into 6C2. Right. So we can do all such questions now. Same question I should ask you. How many how many rectangles are there in a chessboard now? Can you answer now? How many? Question 20. How many rectangles are there in a chessboard? Think of you think for this answer. How many rectangles are there in a chessboard? How many? rectangles are there in chessboard so what what is chessboard chessboard is a 8 cross 8 square grid square grid means from length and width it is equal right a square grid 3 cross 5 was a rectangular grid right but each rectangle each small square will be a square each small square will be a square right in a grid so 8 cross 8 square grid so you can think just just think of a chessboard right think of a previous question also 3 cross 5 grids so if there is 3 cross 5 grid so 3 plus 1 4 horizontal line 5 plus 1 6, horizontal, 6 vertical line if there is a 8 cross 8 square grid how many horizontal line 8 plus 1 9 horizontal line and 8 plus 1 9 vertical lines obviously one more right so you see a chessboard here so if I make a chessboard here, see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? Here also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. See, it's a bit, it's a bit bad chessboard, okay? But pardon me because I'm solving, uh, I'm not having scales and all right so here how many vertical lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 vertical lines this one discussing 9 vertical lines. how many horizontal lines 9 horizontal lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 horizontal right so 9 horizontal lines and 9 vertical lines so how rectangle will be formed by selecting any two lines horizontally 9c2 and means multiplication Selecting any two lines vertically 9c2 to 9c2 that is 36 into 36 that is 1 to 9 6 is the answer and it includes squares it includes squares okay now if you have to find the number of squares then there is a different funda for it right we will see it how to find number of squares in a grid okay this, this is to find number of rectangles in a grid okay very easy just one more than the grid just 8 cross 8 grid so 9 into 9 that means 9c2 9c2 3 cross 5 grid so 4c2 into 6c2 it's a 20 cross 30 grid so 21c2 into 31c2 so easy right finding number of rectangles now question 21 number of squares number of squares in a 4 cross 6 
rectangular grid okay number of squares in a four cross six rectangular grid see there's a way of counting here to draw four cross six rectangular grid let me draw it four cross six rectangular grid this is much better diagram right okay so four cross six one two three four five okay and uh, there's six then there's a four here so one two and three right this is a four cross six square grid this is a four cross six square grid right four in horizontal six in vertical you can do vice versa also six into four this is your your wish right so how many squares are there you see if you count number of squares here so name this small unit as one 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 right so how many small squares are there so one cross one how many small squares are there so for one cross one how many such squares are there you can count simply four in horizontal and six sorry four in the rows and six in the column so four into six 24 squares are there such a small squares of one cross one right now how many squares of two cross two are there so if you find two cross two squares two cross two now right this is two cross two square how many two cross two squares are there same way of counting right same way of counting huh two cross two square how many in horizontal see you can count like this this is one this is one then this is two then this is three right so one two three so three in horizontal and sorry three in uh, column so three in a row three in row and five in column right you see here one then two then three then four then five right so five five here two cross two so five so five is this one let me make it again five is this one two cross so like one two three four five so five in uh, vertic uh, in a column and three in rows so three into five fifteen so two cross two or fifteen right this is a method for counting so it's now it's it's quite easy right so how many three cross three are there simply one one decreasing four then three then two six then five then four two into four is eight how many four cross four are there so after two it will be one after uh, four it will be three six five four three right right so because what is the, this maximum because now four cross four will have because this is this uh, horizontal part contains only four rows so this is four cross four this is four cross four right this is four cross four so four cross four one is square then four cross four second is square and then four cross four third is square third is square right these are the three squares okay this is the method of finding it how many what is the sum sum is 24 plus 15 39 plus 8 47 plus 3 50 there are 50 squares of 4 cross 6 sorry there are 50 squares in a 4 cross 6 rectangular grid is squares right only is squares okay and how many rectangles how many rectangles 4 cross 6 grid means 4 plus 1 5 c2 into 6 plus 1 7 c2 so 5 c2 into 7 c2 10 into 21 210 rectangles are there and 210 rectangles includes this 50 squares 210 rectangles includes this 50 squares right so how many only rectangles are there that means without squares so how many rectangles are without squares 210 minus 50 160 rectangles without squares without squares this is the whole funda right this is the whole funda okay clear i think any doubt so i think this question number what i think this question number 21 i think 21 okay now question 22 next question 22 so we can do now number of squares in a eight cross eight chess board now easily you can do right number of squares in a eight cross eight chess board How many? Now simply you can do right. Simply. 
So it's a eight cross edges board. So how many squares of one cross one? So one cross one is smaller one. How many squares? So eight rows in vertical, eight eight columns in horizontal, right? So that is eight rows and eight columns. So eight into eight, sixty four. There are sixty four, right? That is eighty square. You can directly say. Now how many squares of two into two? Now obviously one less than this, right? Seven into seven. That is forty nine. That is seven square. How many squares of three cross three? Again, one less than this, right? Eight, seven, then six. Six into six. That is thirty-six. That is six a square. Simply add in till where? Add in till one is square at last. Eight cross eight will be one cross one. That is equal to one one is square. So summation of one is square to eight is square, right? We discussed it. Summation of one is square to n is square is how much? N into n plus one into two n plus one by six. Right, so one is square to eight is square. What is summation? N is eight, right? So eight into n into n plus one, eight into nine into two n plus one. That is seventeen by by six. So one is square plus two is square till eight is square. That is this much. Yeah, you solve it. Right, you will get the answer as how much? Two zero four. I think two zero four is the answer. Okay, so number of squares in a chessboard is how much? Two zero four. Is the answer right? I hope it is clear to everyone. Yeah. Okay. So next concept we'll discuss in next video. Thank you.